Hello, I'm Redskid1000. Welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Leaf Green. Previously, we made our way here to Fuchsia City and we explored the Safari Zone. We got a lot of Pokemon and we got some, well, things that we need. This time, well, there's a gym here in Fuchsia City and we're gonna tackle it. So why don't we enter the doors? Hmm. Hmm. Now. Alright. <coughs> Uh, this is the Future Gym! Future Gym is a tricked up place, it's whittled with invisible walls. Goku might appear close to be blocked off. There's find gaps in the walls to reach him. Yeah, so you think you can just waltz up to Goga? Nope. Invisible walls. In Gen 1, you can tell where the invisible walls were. In this game, mm, not so much. Yeah, so you gotta sort of like make your way. It's sort of like a maze, you know, one of those tricky little mazes. You know, like those hedge mazes that you went through, and then you couldn't find the exit, because you're like, what the hell, man? All I've seen is bush, bush, bush for the last five kilometers! Uh, that? Weird analogy aside, let's start fighting the trainers! There's this guy, who you could completely easily and obviously avoid, but I'm fighting him anyway. Yeah, despite this being a poison-type gym, or at least marketed as a poison-type gym, a uh, lot of psychic types in here. We'll find a lot of trainers use psychic types. So yeah, it's good to hit psychic types physically. Like that. So yes, the gym leader does use poison types, and you'll see a couple of poison types in here, but they're mostly psychic types. Which, again, is odd considering, well, I mean, it's a poison type gym. There's even a psychic type gym. The next gym we'll be fighting is a psychic type gym. Yeah, his Pokemon go down pretty quickly thanks to a lucky crit and his Drazzy. I don't think his Drazzy would have gone down in one hit if we didn't crit it. Because Drazzy has a bit more defense than uh, Kadabra, I think. Hit the Kadabra line. Abra line, I should say. It's not very good in defense, but it's really good in special attack, so. And then here's the Hypno, the evolved form of Drazzy. Uh, slightly creepy, but a uh, decent Pokemon if you want to use one. Yeah, strangely enough, it gets to meditate to boost its attack, yet it's a psychic type, so it would more focus on special attacks anyway, see? <laughs> Since it doesn't make very much of it. Let's see. How are we gonna play this? I say we send in our faithful Pidgeot. Yeah, this gym has some strong Pokemon in it, so beware. Like this Hypno, it's level 38. My highest Pokemon is 38, so... I have confidence, though, that we can take down the gym leader. All we need is a little bit of strategy. And you better have poison heals. Or antidotes, as they're called. Because, you know, we're so fancy. Yay! Extraordinary! Let's see, what do we got in terms of. I still can't menu! Oh, jeez. I'm actually, I'm actually getting kind of low on potions. Kind of a concern. Oh, well. I'll buy some more. I'll buy more. But for now, more trainers. I was a magician once upon a time, but I dreamt of becoming a ninja, so I joined this gym. Yeah, Coke is known as the Ninja Master. This guy's a juggler. But whatever works, you know. I think everyone dreams of being a ninja. Ninjas are pretty cool, I mean. They're like, all in the shadows. Ninja. I don't know where I'm going with this, don't even ask. Man, all these drowsies, let's bring in some- Let's go with... Aha! Let's mix it up a bit, like... It's gonna be a lot of Pokemon, a lot of trainers. We gotta make things interesting now, don't we?
Yeah, 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 meditate. Meditate all you want. It's not gonna help you, buddy. Yeah. We're just... We're going through this place like... Good... Fun time. Yeah, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Let's see, what, what's the dilio, what's the down and the low and the 411, whatever other hip terms the kids use these days that they probably don't actually use. I don't know. One of the Pokemon's been pretty chill lately, like, of course everyone's still hyped for Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, obviously. But, you know, we haven't really had much new news on it since Mega Metagross, so... I guess we'll just have to wait. We wait. We wait. We keep waiting. I'm sure it'll happen eventually. I mean, hey, I'm hyped. I'm sure you're hyped. We're all hyped for Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. But, but there's still the question of which version I'm going to get. Ninja have a long history of using animals? Is the guy with the whip for the eyes? I don't know if I want to ask. Hey, look, an actual poison type! Yay! Intimidator! Whatever. We can finally do super effective damage against it. something. Why? I don't think I have anything to do super effective damage against the psychic type. So I have to use Dark Ghost or Bug, and I don't think I have any of those on me. Keep it under a billion, it's all I've got on me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. You know me, I love the cola. Yeah, this one ninja have a long history of using animals. I don't exactly see a ninja just riding on horseback. Just being like... <laughs> Worst horse impression ever. A sand splash? Still my idea, buddy. Ah, uh, where's the water type when you need it? Oh, wait. Time to take a kick. Easy peasy. Don't worry, we'll be getting a water type soon enough. That's not soon enough. That's gonna have to be. Yeah, since Deku King speaks to Psychic, may not get much use against the trainers, but against the gym leader, it's gonna be helpful since it is immune to being poisoned. It doesn't resist poison, but it's immune to being poisoned, and that's always nice. I've seen Key Wano let. let. Oh boy! Can I get one episode without screwing up a sentence? Probably not. Yes, I had to scroll my cursor over everything before finally picking the thing that my cursor was automatically on. You know I had to. If Starbuck doesn't intimidate me... It's a chump! I'm not scared of your cobras! I was getting a mongoose in here, but... Or Zangus, we're talking about Pokemon here, come on. Now here's where the now here's where the invisible walls start to play a part. Here's the way to get to Koga. Easy peasy. No more trainers. Bye! You know I have to. After Koga comes from a long line of ninjas. Oh, what? So it's just like a giant line stretching three miles of nothing but ninjas just standing right behind each other. Single file, single file. And then it's just like, all right, Master Koga, please step up. Finally, I've been waiting in line for an hour. And a day. And a week. Like, gee, who thought it was a good idea to have a three-mile line of ninjas? Yeah, I don't know. Fun things happen in my head sometimes. It doesn't really make much sense, but... If it works, it works. Hooray! Yep. No way. Well, I say we bring out the quill. And Pidgeot will show these fools just how it's done. 
Yeah, I don't know what I was on with, with that whole line of ninjas thing. It's like, I don't know, I just hear funny things and then I make gags. That are sometimes not funny. And then shit like that happens. That's also not funny. But, you know what they say, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. I mean, hey, if you look at the anime, Team Rocket's been trying that for like 800 episodes. They never succeed, and yet they still try. You gotta give them points for perseverance. You know what I mean? Oh, I'm already at 10 minutes. And this episode might just be this gym. But then again, it's not exactly a bad thing. Yeah, I don't want to make my episodes too long. I've learned my lesson. Better to keep episodes short and sweet. Not too short, though. Ah, Walt. I think this is the last guy. Stop right there! Hammer time! The famous invisible walls of Future Gym have you frustrated? Well, not really. I already figured out how to get to Kelsey. I'm just trying to figure out how to get to the rest of you, Mr. Whip Guy. What is up with your eye? Like, bro, you wearing an eye patch or something? Sad Flash versus Sad Flash. Fight to the KO! Mine can dig. I bet yours can't. I didn't think so. Underworld Guardian. Underworld Guardian. We fight to the death. Ah, son of a bitch. You think you're fancy? <laughs> Try this. My sand slash win. Your sand slash does not. Now it's time for me to bring in my nine tails. And your Arbok will regret ever popping out of its Pokeball. Nice try. That's not going to work on me! Nothing on that can happen. But, one quick attack. Yeah, you like to see this move get used once. And, we're done. You got it! Uh, uh, oh. Alright, so now we just get back to Koga, because I believe that is everybody. Anyway, let's uh, get... Let's make some preps. I don't think I need to go back to the Pokemon Center. Let's prep up. Let's, uh... Ew. But let's just use up the rest of my potions. I'm not gonna need these anyway. Nah. So you heal everyone to full. Hmm. Nah, I'm gonna need to use... Nah. I won't be able to make it. I'm not gonna use a super potion. Yeah, I'll do a potion shop after this. Episode is done. I'll just do that off screen now. So anyway, now we're fully healed up. Actually, there was something else I wanted to do. I wanted to go into my bag, with my berry pack, and see how many Petcha Berries I have. One! Really? I have one Petcha Berry? That's lame. I had more. Oh well. I'll, uh... I'm gonna equip it on. The thing is, I was gonna say, you think I'd use a ground type? But three out of his four Pokemon have Levitate, so Graham's gonna be completely useless. Um, I think I'm gonna. I think we'll we'll go with. Uh, we'll go with Millennium. No, no. What the? Oh, I I had my finger, oh, dude. I need to get my fingers over the right button. No, 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 not use, not use, not use. Give. Give it to Millennium. I think I have a Lumberry here. Yeah. We'll give this to q and if it needs it. If... It... If the time doesn't stay. And as for who's leading... We'll lead with... Millennium. Okay, we'll save. No, that is, No, do not adjust your screens. I don't know what you're watching it on, but don't adjust your screens. That number does say 45. I did some... Epic Pokemon catching off screen, got my Pokedex up to 45. Um, 
eventually, once I get a couple more things, I'll be able to get a bunch more Pokemon. Because before the game ends, I'd like to have at least 60. And you'll see why, when I'm finished with the main game. But as I said, main game, there's a hint. Anyway, enough battling, let's get to Koga. Wah! I mean, a child like you dares to challenge me? The idea makes me shiver with mirth. Mirth? Come on, let me get my mini dictionary. I nobody got time for that. Very well, I shall show you true terror as a ninja master. Poison drinks steady doom. Sleep renders foes up and sleep. Oh crap, did I put out some chest of berries? The spare to the creepy horror of poison type Pokemon. No, I don't think he can actually put you to sleep. He does uh, he can he can poison you pretty easy though. Here we go with Toga! He's gonna start with coughing! So remember coughing says levitate, so don't try using ground. So really they're only weak psychic, which I don't have. Bummer! But we'll do what we must because we can. And doing what we must involves flamethrowers, flamethrowers, and flamethrowers. Sludge. And getting hit by sludge. Uh, he's probably gonna heal. Yep. He can tell when CPU is gonna heal. It's like, duh. Put another flamethrower and you're done. Well, thank you. You'll probably just get down to red health again. Yep. And he's a lot less red health this time, so quick attack. Perfect. Gonna send out his muck, which I think is the only Pokemon in the team that it doesn't have levitate, so here's fight time to shine. Sadly, I think it has minimized, which is a bit of a problem. Especially since our ground moves take two turns to activate. But we'll give it a shot anyway. Yep, there's minimized. Huh, will it be as annoying as double team watch? Let's hope not. Well we hit it, that's a good sign. Hey, hi, hi, hey. Then I could bring in Q and O to get a free shockwave off, since you know shockwave can't miss. But hmm. could go for another day, but that would give him another turn to minimize. And it's worth a try. Yeah, we can't use Ding on any of his other Pokemon, so we don't need to worry about saving KP. Okay, now he didn't. So he's at my, he's plus two evasion. Oh, he hit! Nice! Nice! Getting, finally getting lucky! With the... thing. Yeah, I don't know what I'm saying either. Uh, let's bring in Kiwano for this guy. Yeah. I know, I know, I don't know, maybe I should have saved my Lumberry, but... If I keep having that attitude of save my Lumberry, then it's never gonna get used. Then better actually get used out of it, eh? NICE! Yeah! Like that! Yeah. I was considering buying the Thunderbolt TM from the Game Corner. Just spending like all my money on Game Coins and then buying the Thunderbolt TM for Q1O, but I thought, uh, I think Shock I'll be able to get by with Shockwave. Maybe I'll still maybe I still will, we'll see. Uh let's see, so he's going to be using this is his main Pokemon, his toughest Pokemon. Ah, uh, I'm gonna go into Deku King. He's not going to be able to do too much damage since Weezing's really good defensively, but he won't be able to get poisoned either. I'll talk to this. <laughs> See? Strategy. Oh! You have that! In what universe? Oh, I made a white turn anyway. <laughs> this could take a while, people. Actually, I have an idea. We'll just do this! There we go, this'll sap some of his health every turn. He can't do a thing about it! Ow! Ow! Oh, that hurts. Actually, we're gonna get some health back from that. Let's put it back to sleep. Or not. We can always just nine. Okay, let's see, how are we gonna play this? We've got the Leech Seed off, so we'll probably switch. The problem is, whoever we switch into is gonna take a Sludge. Most likely. I 
And Koga's, I believe, still got a Hyper Potion in storage, so he's probably gonna whip that out if the health gets into a certain range. Hmm. How are we gonna play this? Hang on, I'm strategizing here. Let's see what we can do. I mean, I could just like Deku King faint, like risk his leak powder, but I don't want Deku King fainting. Okay, so that's a little more health with Leech Seed. Not really very much though. I have an idea though. We're gonna fly. He's gonna try. He's gonna miss. More Leech Seed. That technically is going to no one, but it works anyway. Then we're gonna fly. Take it out to just a little under. Just. He's still just so up there, but before Kobe can whip out his second hyper potion, Leech Seed's gonna get him. Squeezing down. We win without losing any Pokemon. Or even any of our berries. That's pretty easy. <laughs> Good proof you win. Here, take the Soul Badge. I think everyone even made an appearance at one point in that battle. Pretty cool. Except Meowth. But Meowth's just chillin'. He's just like, yep. You need me to cut down a tree? Okay. Need me to light up cake? Alrighty then. And here, I'll pick up some items for you because you're cool like that. The legend is so bad. It's defense your Pokemon rises. Also, let you surf outside of battle. So we don't have a Pokemon to do that. Yet. Ah, I'll take this too. TM06, which is toxic. Still within that TM06 likes toxic. It's a secret technique taking back some 400 years. Yes, toxic's a poison type move. It's got 85% accuracy and 10 PP. What does it do? It poisons the foe. Actually, but it doesn't just poison them. It badly poisons them. What's badly poisoning, I hear you say? Well, you probably already know, but for those of you who don't, if your Pokemon is badly poisoned, the poison damage that it receives every turn will keep increasing. So it will become greater and greater and greater until, uh-oh, you're screwed. Yeah, so you just gotta be careful, because that's what badly poison does. Just the poison damage keeps getting worse and worse, so... It's pretty lethal if it gets used on you. You might want to heal that right quick. Also, one thing that's been bugging me, Meowth has an item. It's be a berry. Alright. And before I forget, I'm gonna take the berries off my Pokemon stick. Need to hold them. Perfect. Anyway, before I go... Like, we're already up 23 minutes, so I'm gonna end this episode quite soon, but first... I wanna enter the next town, at least. So we're just gonna go to Vermilion. I'm gonna hop on our bike, because that's gonna be faster. Oh! Then again! I could be an idiot and do something like this. Get out of here! I really need to, you know, get a better handle on what buttons I press. No, not there. Here! And finally... Oh, that tea looks awfully tasty. Huh, can I have a string? Gee, thanks! If you want to go to shop on tea, you can go on through. I'll share this tea with the other guards. Are you planning to do it telepathically? I think you mean telekinetically. And no. Anyway, here we are in Saffron City. Here's the next city we'll be exploring. Unfortunately, it is littered with rocket grunts. It's up under control. Which means sway Pokemon around the world. We'll get thinking with you. How? Okay, Texan Rocket Grunt. Let's just leave you alone. Anyway, we're already up to 24 minutes, so I'm gonna end the episode here. Next time on Let's Play Pokemon Leaf Beam, we're gonna explore Saffron City. These rocket grunts are up to no good. We must stop them. But first, well, we got an entire city to explore, you know? Hopefully it won't take as long as the Celadon exploration. I don't think it will, but we'll see. So, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time for more Pokemon goodness. Stay beautiful.